So we're going to be using Microsoft Edge, which comes with Windows 10, and it is a web browser. It is Microsoft's newest web browser. And you'll notice the features that we're covering are very similar to features that you find in Google Chrome, Firefox, and some of the other web browsers. So the features that we're going to learn are pretty much the same as features you find in other browsers. To launch Microsoft Edge, uh, it should be on your taskbar if you have Windows 10. If it's not on your taskbar, that would mean someone unpinned it. <laughs> and you can get to it through your start menu. Uh, if you don't see it at the top of the menu, you can go into all apps. And it's located in the M section. So if you scroll down, you should see it here. And it doesn't really matter how you launch the application. Uh, we're going to go ahead and maximize our screen here. Uh, you're going to end up at the default start screen. And our first little task is going to be navigating to some websites. And there's a couple different ways that you can navigate to a website. If you happen to know the web address, you can key that in. And you might wonder, well, where in the heck do you key it in? Uh, where's the address bar? Well, the address bar is hidden in Microsoft Edge. It's there. You just have to click where you would normally find it, and it magically appears. So normally, the address bar is next to the refresh button. So if you click up there, it will display. Uh, and keying in a web address is probably the fastest way to go to a website if you know the address that you need to navigate to. And so we are going to be going to Paradigm Publishing website. And the website starts with HTTP colon slash slash. Now the web browsers, all of them, assume that the page starts with that. It's uh, called an application protocol. And so you don't actually even have to type that part in. Okay, so we're going to just key in Paradigm dot emcp.com and for some reason it capitalized that so I'm going to lowercase and then I'm going to go ahead and press enter. You should be at a site that looks very similar to this. Uh, again this is a site uh, that our textbook publisher set up and they would like us to kind of take a look at some of the menus. And you'll notice that if you point some of them, you get a pull down menu. And pretty much every time you point and you see a little hand, that is a hyperlink. And clicking on that will take you to another page. And they want us to take a look at about and company info. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. That takes us to the company info page. And once we navigate to another page, you will notice that the back button is boldface because we can click on back and go to the page we were just visiting. Now, once you click on back, you will notice that the forward button is now boldface because you can go forward to the page that you were just at. And the reason you can go backwards and forwards is because the web browser is keeping track of every single page you've viewed, and it's also keeping track of where you are at within this list of viewed pages. This is called a history list. So you can go backwards and you can revisit pages, you can go forwards anywhere within that list. Uh, what this little button does is it reloads the page that you are viewing. And when I say reload, uh, what I mean is it actually goes to that site and retrieves the page again. So if I click on that, you can see that it went out 
got the material and displayed it. Now you might think, why would you reload a page? Well, if a page changes, uh, then you want to reload it so you can see all of the current information. And pretty much all web browsers have this history list. They all have back and forward buttons, and they all have the ability to reload the page.